Oh, questions, questions. You guys remember what we learned last week? Who did we learn about last week? Who remembers? Oh, see how easily we forget when we don't think about God's word. Who remembers? Do you remember, Simon? Gentiles and Jews? No, that was the week before. Let me give you a hint. Who got blinded when he saw the Lord Jesus Christ? Saul. Saul. And what did his name change to afterwards? Paul. Paul. And who remembers how many days he didn't eat for after he got blinded and he went into the city? How many days was it? How many days was it? Timothy? Three days. Three days, very good. And who remembers, does anyone remember the city that he was going to on his way there? What was the name of the city? Damascus. Damascus, very good. And who remembers, this is a hard one, who remembers the name of the man? That he went to after he got blinded and baptized him. Who remembers his name? It starts with an A. <laughs> you remember? Ananias. Ananias. Very good. Simon's got a good memory. Okay. Today we're talking about the gift of God. The gift of God. Gifts. Who likes gifts? I think we can all put our hand up. Everybody likes gifts. <laughs> what's, what's the best gift you've gotten? Let's say. Anyone can think of what's the best gift that they've received? What's your favorite gift? God. God? Yeah, well, that's good. I'm talking about physical gift, though. Physical gift. What's, the, what's your favorite gift that you got? Maybe on one of your birthdays. Dinosaur Lego. Dinosaur Lego. Yes, yeah, nice, isn't it? Getting a gift. When we think of a gift, we think of something like this, don't we? Gift. So a gift is something that somebody gives you for free. So this is what we think of when we get a gift. And people have like dinosaur Lego. What's another gift that you like? You can think of something like that. What are you, Sarah? You think of something you like? A gift? No, no? What are you, Timothy? No? Everyone quiet today. Our gift is free, isn't it? If you had to pay for it, it's not a gift. What do you think about money? Because let's say we give Abel the dinosaur Lego as a gift. But what if Abel had to pay for it? Is that a gift? That's not a gift, is it? Because he had to pay for it. Right? So because he didn't pay for it, it's a gift for him. Mummy and Daddy bought it for him for his birthday, didn't we? But the gift, somebody had to buy the gift. Who had to buy the gift? Me, Mummy, we had to buy the gift, didn't we? We had to work for the money to pay for the gift so that we could give it to Abel for free. So the gift has a cost, doesn't it? But who pays for the gift? Is it the one who receives the gift or the one who gives the gift? What do you think? The one who gives the gift pays for it. So yes, a gift is free to the person receiving the gift. It's free for Abel, but it cost us money, didn't it? So that's what a gift is like. What's this? Now, what happens if, let's say I'm not daddy at the moment. But let's say one day I give this gift to Abel. Can I just sneak into Abel's house? and take the gift back? Can I do that? No. Because what would that make me? What would that make me? A thief. That's right. If auntie gives something to somebody, who does it belong to? Now it belongs to Abel. If I was to go and sneak into the house of this guy, a thief, steal it from him, I can't do that. I can't take it back once I've given it to him. Am I right? So that's how it works with God. So Romans 6.23, look at this. It says, for the wages of sin is death. What is this saying? This is telling us that because of our sin, we deserve death. Who knows what sin is? You remember what sin is? You know? Something you do in bad like That's right. It's when we disobey God, isn't it? When we disobey God, we commit sin. So 
And what do we get because of our sin? We get death. This is why people go to hell, because of their sins. But, the good news, but, look at this. We're talking about gifts, aren't we? The gift of God. Oh, we like gifts, don't we? Is it a gift? Do you have to pay for a gift? No. Gift of God is, what's the gift? Eternal life. Who knows what eternal means? You guys know what eternal means? Anyone about Simon? Timothy? Everlasting, that's right, lasts forever. That's the gift we're getting, eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So, remember we talked about a gift. Do you have to pay for a gift? No. Right? Who pays for the gift? The receiver or the giver? Who? The giver. The giver, that's right, the giver pays. So who's giving us eternal life here? Sarah. God, that's right, the gift of God. So who's got to pay for it? Who's paying for it? God, right? God pays for a gift. So once we receive the gift by believing on Jesus Christ, can God ever take that back? No, because now the gift belongs to us and this is why we have it forever, eternal life. Now you know how God paid for this gift? See, when we buy the dinosaur Lego, how do we pay for it? We use money, don't we? Eternal life, you can't buy with money. So do you know how God paid for it? How did he pay for it? Timothy, do you know? Very good. This is how he paid for it. Went on the cross, beaten, bruised, suffered. He gave his own life, died, he rose again to pay for this gift. This is how precious this gift is. How much did the dinosaur Lego cost us? I think $18 or something? $18. But you know the price of eternal life? The price of God's only Son, Jesus Christ. That's what he did for you. This is what this is saying here, Romans 6.23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, do you want to say this together? You ready? Romans 6.23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Who thinks they can memorize this? You can do it, Simon? You think you can do it, Timothy? Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Who thinks they can say it? I'll give you a few seconds to look at it. <laughs> you ready, Simon? Have a go. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Very good, buddy. Very good. Okay. All right. All right, let's stand up. We're going to have some games over here now. And today we're going to play some games.